to marry anymore because the risk outweighs the benefits. There's a risk that comes with marriage that essentially only benefits a woman. A man marries you and can only hope that one day you don't wake up and say, I feel like I don't love you anymore and I want to leave and you can't do anything about it. According to ASA, 70 to 80% of divorces are initiated by women. Among college educated women, it jumps to 90%. You know what's crazy? I mean, a lot of us women don't have anything a man actually wants that we can bring to the table. So it's pretty crazy to think that there are women out here that are rationalizing reasons why men do not want to be involved with them, why men aren't interested in them or want to be anywhere near them. And now there's lists of reasons why the man that the man that these women are interested in, the, the men that have been piping these women down, why these men don't want to marry them. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's talk about five reasons why he doesn't see you as wife material and probably won't. The first reason is, and I feel like I'm gonna have to say this every video because this is the main problem. You out here busting it wide open. Close your legs. Some of you ladies are out here pH balance off, smelling like tuna for a man that hasn't even paid your cell phone bill, that hasn't even taken you to dinner since ever. <laughs> Stop sleeping with that man. The more you sleep with him, the less he wants to marry you. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, no, whoa uh, let me just uh you, you got it all wrong you're assuming you're making assumptions here lady these women are finding these attractive men online they're good men these are perfectly fine men that would be more than happy to wife up any random woman that they meet on tinder this is just common sense i think the mistake honestly the the biggest mistake you can make is to be a woman and then go out there date all these random men and then expect them to be your husband that's just not gonna happen modern women are, some of these women are ran through before they're 21 and that takes a lot of time <laughs> a lot of effort to do that you're not only are you actively not saying no but you're also actively always saying yes is the issue so you're hitting 21 which is me personally I think the perfect age for those men that want to get married I would always suggest never get married it is the biggest scam of since forever for men honestly it's, it's it's a negative for men all around but some men do want to get married there are going to be men out there that want to get married i like to call them um simps you can call them whatever you want i think that if you have your finances in order if you look halfway decent if you hit the gym you can have a woman and not get married and she's not going to have an issue with it she's going to accept reality the way it is and if she does have an issue with it, she can hit the curb and you can find you another one. It's not that big of a deal. But some of these men are super desperate. They, it's these simps that they want to get married. They want to lock down these twos and threes. And, and then these twos and threes end up cheating on them with these other dudes they meet on Instagram. So it just really doesn't even make any sense. But some of these men want to get married. They kind of feel like they have control in a marriage. They're the husband. They're the breadwinner. They are the the head of the household they they want to feel like they're in control when in reality they have no control over anything let alone their own lives let alone the woman in their life let alone anything else a lot of these men sign over their entire life to these women and it's pathetic every time i see a married man and, and i work with a few of them i always look at their wife and a lot of these times these men have picked good and then some of these women are really traditional women these homemakers they don't work they stay home they raise the kids and this is good to see but a lot of these women are going to be a little bit an older generation these are going to be men that are already established younger men uh these men aren't getting married i work with a lot of younger men and men in their late 20s early 20s even uh and these men aren't getting married they don't have to these women are giving it out for free and they're going home and um they're playing 2k it's not even a question let's continue Next reason is you don't represent him well. A lot of y'all are out here giving Bratz doll instead of Barbie doll. You look trashy and any man of means 
wants a Barbie, not a Bratz doll. He wants to be able to take you around his family and his colleagues. And if you don't fit that mold, then girl, you will be reduced to a bed wench. Third reason is you don't bring him peace. A lot of women come with drama. You want to argue all the time. You want to complain all the time. You talk too much. He just can't relax in your presence because you're talking too much about so-and-so and what they did and that and the other. Like, you're not peaceful. And most men, especially if they're a hard worker, which I hope that any man that you're you know, wanting to be with is a hard worker, they want peace. They have enough stress at work and in their daily lives. They want the woman that they're settling down with to be that peace, to be that sense of home, to be that sense of relaxation. And so many women are not that. Fourth reason is Surely this is all for me. Me? Me, 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 I, I. I'm, I'm so fing important. This is very important. I actually think this is the number one reason is because a lot of these women out here today, they're masculine, they're yelling, they're loud, they're annoying, their voices are, to me, their voices are very just unbearable. I, I would rather just be alone than listen to some of these women blabber about whatever, whatever they're talking about. And I think if these women aren't bringing you peace, then uh, there's really no reason to have them around. Why would you want someone around you that is going to annoy you, that is going to aggravate you? No man wants this. No man, this is the number one, I think, on the list. All the other ones, I don't even remember what number two was. Number one is bring him peace. Add to this man's peace. That won't guarantee he'll marry you, but at least he'll keep you around. Honestly, if you're if you're a smart man, you're not going to get married. The risks that come with marriage. Right now, we are sitting with over half, more than 50% of marriages end in a divorce. So you're actually sitting in a negative getting married in the beginning. So you're more likely to just get a divorce uh, when you're married. Every marriage after the age of 25, the divorce rate rises. It gets higher. So if you are 25 years of age and you're not married, that means that if you get married past that age, odds are you're going to get divorced. So it's, it's not only is it over half, but it's also more than that, that now because of your age. Now, if this woman has been married in the past, which let's be real, a lot of people get married in their early 20s. I know a lot of people that have been divorced before the age of 25. It's not a rare thing. It used to be rare. It's not very rare anymore. People, these men and women are getting divorced before the age of 25. That means that if you're going to be getting married after the age of 25, the odds of this person already has been married and divorced is super high. And that's going to end bad. That's going to end in a divorce as well. Most second marriages end in divorce more than first marriages. And then it just gets worse on down the line. Now, there's always going to be those percentages where these men, that, oh, well, I married my second wife and we've been married 20 years and we're we're perfectly happy. Everything's perfect. Congratulations. You're the 0.0000001%. Congratulations. A large majority of men will get divorced. A large majority of men will not initiate the divorce. The wife will. That's the facts. Let's continue. Mindset. Fourth reason is you have a streets mindset. Before the streets... A lot of women want to be at the club all the time. Yep, popping bottles. Want to be here and there all the time. And the streets. it's not cute. For the okay? highways. A lot of y'all think it's cute and it's not. Trashy. Men prefer homebodies. Men uh, prefer good girls. Yeah, and good. when I say good girl, I don't mean doormat. And the next thing you is not you lack through, you basic guys. domestic qualities. You don't take care of your responsibility. Every time he sees you have trash in your car, your house, your apartment <laughs> is a hot mess. It's not inviting. And men look at these trashy. things. They look at that and be like, oh, she's, she's not going to be a good homemaker. Um, so I'm not about to take her out the workplace because she's going to have my house junky. I'm not buying her a car because look at the car she got. It's dirty all the time. You're not someone that he wants to provide for because you don't even take care of what you have now. So, yes, ladies, about women who are in imaginary relationships, a lot of most of you get out of those imaginary relationships, ladies, go get you a ring, become a wife to a man of means, level up your life, your mindset, your energy, your clothing, uh, keep your legs closed 
and um, we'll get it done together. So, yes, ladies, I will see you next time. Can you bless me with something? Oh, gosh. Money-wise. Please. Can you s*** it? What? Welcome to hell, mother That was so inspiring. He is inspiring an entire generation of women to do whatever it is she's telling them to do. Unfortunately, I think we all can just come to the reality that this video or video or TikTok channel whatever. It is falling on deaf ears. These women do not want to hear it. These women want to be wifey materials. They want to be the traditional wife. They want to be the homemaker, but that they are not equipped to be any of this. Okay. You're going to pick up a trailer and you pull up to, to haul this, this huge trailer that's just loaded down with stuff. You got to haul this trailer across the country. Okay. And you're pulling up in a Toyota Yaris. <laughs> is not going to happen. You need a truck. Well, these women, they are not equipped with the proper tools in order to be a wife. They're not even willing to learn. A lot of these women, they will say, oh, well, I'll be the perfect wife. I can learn how to cook. I can learn how to do this. No, you can't. It's not there. It's not going to happen. All right. They want to be the wife. They want to be taken care of. They want to be provided for. They, they want all of these things, but they want the version of the housewife that they see on TV and online. Real housewives of Beverly Hill. You know, housewife of Atlanta, real housewives of wherever. They want that type of life, not realizing that they're ever going to get that. It's just not going to happen for these women. A lot of these women are, unfortunately for them, not for us, but for them, unfortunately, they will be, will be alone. They will have their cats. They will have their Pilates classes. They will be playing gin rummy on Sundays with the ladies that are also have the cats. The <laughs> they just kind of up together like penguins. They <laughs> You see a flock of these ladies walk by and none of them are married. All of them are kind of limping around and you're like, oh, okay, well, that's just, yeah, street walkers is what they are. Marriage is a no-go for men today, okay? A lot of smart, there's a lot of smart men out there and they are just saying absolutely not to marriage and hey, me too, okay? Saying absolutely not to women altogether. I'm just avoiding them all together. I can play my PlayStation in peace. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Okay. A lot of men can do this. Okay. I can go to the gym whenever I want. I don't have to tell anyone when I'm going. I don't have to pretend that it's not part of my routine. Oh, why are you going at 3 p.m. when you usually go at 10 a.m.? It's like there's is so much insecurity with women that inviting them into your life, inviting them into your home, living with them, sharing with them, signing a contract with them. You you better off going into any major city, finding a crackhead and signing a contract with a crackhead. It'll have the same result.